Hello everybody and welcome back to the fourth installment of Transformers Rise of the Beast News. I had to take a mini break because there was no news. I'm sorry. I didn't make a nine minute video about Chip and Dale. I am not a clickbaiter. I'm not going to make you watch nine minutes of me blubbering on about some bloody rat Ratatouille movie. Right. Anyway. So. The Raging Nation is crying in his uh, he's crying in his room. I've completely replaced him. Um, he's lost his job. Schumacher Prime's here to fill it. Uh, sorry, you know. Do like the guy, but he can't be uploading if you want to compete. Uh, that that is just a joke. So you know, I'm I'm hope you know that's obvious. Uh, right. So here we go. Transformers Rise of the Beast news, starting off with Chip and Dale. This is not a subject that I wanted to talk about, because I do not like movies like Chip and Dale. But, I did not watch the movie, because that would make me want to die. But it's okay, because we have the Mr. The Fire Brothers, who give me a bit of a rundown, so I can tell you guys about it. Basically... Some squirrel or whatever put on like an Optimus Prime show and apparently it's CGI from the new movie. Most likely it's not because because they're from different companies. But at the same time it could be CGI. But I de it's definitely going to be like um, just like a bit that they're not using for the movie. They're not stupid. Paramount are smart with their reveals. Right, so then we have got toys they are releasing in what th three days that's going to be great um, in America, sadly not for u k but um you know i'd like to I, I, I'd like to see a few reviews see how they are you know see if it gives us anything maybe the packaging gives anything away, hopefully it does. For some reason, Prime vs. Prime doesn't show packaging, which annoys me. Right, so next we have got character reveals. Uh, obviously, you've got RC, you got Optimus Prime, we know exactly what he looks like. There's Bumblebee, it basically looks too similar from the last movie for me, because I don't think that one's it, because it hasn't got the handlebar. And then now people are saying, oh, it's Mirage, oh, it's Smokescreen, it's Jazz. Let's be honest, it's Jazz. Come on. Um, petition for Jazz to be that one. Uh, but there's been a bit more filming. And I did learn a very crucial piece of information from one of you guys in the comments, which I really, which I really do appreciate. Um, a, um, the place where they've been filming is supposed to be time travel, like time travel back New York, which should be good, but the Bumblebee movie is set in the 80s right okay so and this is set in the 50s so that means the Bumblebee movie is not canon and if it is I don't know why it would be because I think when Optimus Prime sees Bumblebee on the bridge that's the first time but if it's not then I don't know there's two ways of thinking about that. Thanks, guys, for all the support. I've had a great week with all the YouTube views coming in. Only a few. A bit more of an upward spiral. We keep going at that for another few months, and we'll be there. We'll be where we want to be. I want to hit 1,000 subscribers, and there I do. Thank you for 10 subscribers. We're on 11 now. Thank you for 100 views. Thank you for 150 views, and we're probably going to make it to 200, so thank you to all of you. Um, let's hope this video does well, and let's get hyped for the new movie. Like Alfonso says, tell all I want. This is Schumacher Prime, the newsman, signing out.